It's a great day for keto. My name is Liftar, and I'm bringing you today's keto tip. Welcome. Today's keto bite three more health conditions that keto can help. Many of our health problems in life can be tied back to our diet. Some people say all our health issues are from diet, and that's mostly true. But lately, with the advent of DNA testing, we're finding that sometimes it's just in your genetics, it's in your genes, and it's going to happen no matter what. If it's a genetic problem, it may not be totally preventable through diet. However, there's a big difference between having a problem and being completely helpless about it. There's a lot of space between, I've got this health issue from genetics, so I'm just going to feel really horrible and it's going to overwhelm me. No, you can make a lot of difference with your diet in your longevity and your quality of life. So you may not be able to prevent something that's genetic with your diet, but you can make your life way, way better meanwhile. And that's where keto comes in. Keto is being studied a lot and is found to help in many situations. Last time we talked about cancer, autism, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome, which it helps. Today we'll look at findings on other conditions. Now this is not medical advice of any kind. I am passing along areas of research that show promise. Always work with your doctor, especially if it's a serious health issue. Number one, epilepsy. This is the original reason the keto diet came into being. Many people with epilepsy can't tolerate the anti-seizure drugs that are available. In most of the well-known studies, they used a 4 to 1 ratio diet. That's four times as much fat as protein and carbs combined. Now, we have much more finely tuned keto diets these days, but that's the one they used in these studies. Researchers found that even in children, now this is children older than two, you don't really do diets on kids younger than two, but of those who tried the diet, 65% had improved brain function even if it didn't help with the seizures. It was good for them either way. And this is a good illustration of the diet may help with certain parts of your problem. It may not, but it will help in other areas and it'll make you better in other areas. Number two, polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. This is a health problem with hormonal dysfunction that many times means infertility and irregular periods. Many women who have this also have insulin resistance, which means they have a very hard time losing weight. There may be other hormone-related issues like facial hair and acne. This is another problem that has been reported to be helped by keto. Keto depends on hormonal balance to work. Just by its very nature, it tends to balance hormones. If a diet helps hormonal balance, it should automatically help with any hormonal imbalance. Number three, Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a nervous system problem that happens because of low levels of the signaling molecule dopamine. When you lack dopamine, you can have trouble standing or sitting straight, stiffness, problems with walking, tremors and trouble writing. Keto is being explored as a complementary therapy for this disease. The high fat nature of keto makes it ideal to help protect nerves from damage. That in turn helps motor function and longevity. I never tell people diet is all they need and to ignore doctors. I just don't think it's smart. I think everything's here for a reason, including modern medicine. You and your doctor have to decide these things. So unless your doctor says, do not do this diet, you should feel free to experiment. And that's today's Keto Bite. If you enjoy these bite-sized tips, then come on over to rockthatketo.com and sign up for fabulous recipes 
how-to tips, and inspirational stories of people who have lost weight or gotten healthy for the first time in their life. If you're ready to dive in and start losing serious weight, we have a foolproof 30-day plan all laid out for you. You can start losing weight today. Come on and check us out at rockthatketo.com, and we'll see you next time.